Hi there and welcome. Today I will be discussing the importance of refraction and what the different types of refraction are in the context of an eye examination. Now a refraction is essentially when somebody tries to work out what the prescription within your eyes is. So if you want to learn more about refraction and the different types, then please stay tuned. There are many different parts to an eye examination, ranging from health assessment to refraction. Refraction will work out whether you have a long-sighted, a short-sighted, or a mixed astigmatic prescription. If you want to learn more about what these different terms mean, then please refer to videos that I have made in the past. Refraction can be obtained either manually or using automated mechanisms. Once a refraction is obtained, it is then fine tweaked with the help of the patient to try and optimize them achieving the best possible vision that they can. In children, trying to establish their refraction can be very difficult and challenging. This is because they can very easily change their prescription by simply changing the position they are looking in and what they are looking at. What I mean by this is when children change their gaze and look at different objects, the focusing that is actively going on within their eyes will change their prescription. So if you are trying to work out what their prescription is and their gaze is constantly changing, you will obtain an inaccurate refraction for patients. Therefore, they need a cycloplegic refraction. This is where with the addition of drops, the muscles and mechanisms within the eye that help the eye to accommodate and change focus are relaxed and therefore you get what their true prescription is and this is why in children whose vision is developing you need to have an up-to-date accurate refraction in order to allow their vision to develop normally and in order for them to have their most up-to-date accurate prescription. Having an accurate cycloplegic refraction might not only improve their vision, but it can, in certain instances, straighten patients' eyes out if they have a turn. In order to therefore carry out a cycloplegic refraction, drops need to be used. Initially, when the drops are inserted into the eyes, they can sting, and depending on the drop that is used to achieve the result that you want, the duration of how long it will last will vary. Some of them last two to four hours, Others can last 24 hours, others can last up to a couple of weeks. So it is important to ask your eye care practitioner which drop they have specifically used. Whilst the drop is still active, you will lose the ability to focus and therefore looking at closed objects will mean that they will be blurry. Prior to a cycloplegic refraction, it is important to counsel your child as to why they are having this additional test. This can help with the anxiety of having drops on the day. Thank you for watching this video about refraction and specifically cycloplegic refraction. Please do click the like button, the subscribe button, comment and share. Thank you.